Hello guys, this is another tutorial for pancakes.co.cc and today I'll be teaching you how to hack your PSP 1000, 2000, 3000 and go without using a Pandora battery and you have to make sure that your firmware on your PSP is firmware 6.2 or below before this thing will work. Now the first thing you want to do, you want to head over to pspslimhacks.com forward slash 6 dash 20 dash tn dash oh, the rest will be in the description and you want to download all the links so you want to download the second, third, and fourth one, not the first because then that's an older version. And uh, you'll also need WinRAR for this to work. Because then WinRAR is the one that will extract all of these files. You can download it from rarlab.com. So after you download all of those files, which I already have, you mm -hmm. want to go onto your PSP and then select USB connection. Alright, so now that it's all connected, you want to go to the your micro, I mean your memory stick pro duo, and you want to extract all the files over there. So you want to download the 6.2 update if you haven't um, updated your PSP to 6.2 to your PSP folder into game, and make a folder called update all in capitals and drag and drop the eboot in there. Um. For the Patapon demo, you would require to click on it and just drag and drop that into the game folder, which I already have. And you want to go to your save data that you downloaded, and you want to go to PSP, save data, and drag and drop that. And you want to go to TN, uh, TNB, you want to go to folder there to PSP, game, and then just drag and drop hen into the game folder, which I have done already. And afterwards, you want to go to pspslimhacks.com um, forward slash half byte loader revision 109, which will be in the description of the post if you're looking at this through my website. And then you're going to go to Patapon 2 save game for half byte loader. 14th November update and you're going to save that and you need to download the exploit as well which will be HPL Rev 109 stable for Patapon to exploit and up to 0 OFW 6.2 so while we're waiting for that one we're just going to open the data file for that and Check if the thing is the same, or we'll just drag and drop it and override it, because it's pretty much the same exploit so far. And then you want to go for the half byte loader, and you just want to extract that to the root of your um, PSP's memory card. So you just go to the root, which means when you go to computer and double click your um, folder, it will be there. That's the folder you want to go to. And then you just want to drag and drop that over there. Alright, so now that's done, you want to go mm -hmm. back to your PSP um, and just go out of USB mode. And from there, I'll just use the camera, so just a second. Okay, so just to make sure that you're on the correct firmware, you want to go all the way to your settings and go to system settings, down to system information. Now if it says 6.2, then you're ready to go. If you if it doesn't, then make sure you get the update dot um update into your PSP and update your PSP. Now you want to go to memory stick and open up the Patapon 2 demo. Now you don't want to create a new save file, and you just want to continue playing. Alright, so now that I put the retarded music off, you want to go to continue. 
and um, continue with Wallow's return. So make sure you're in the correct one and just go through that one. Now once it says push any key, just push any key and just press R again and you'll load the um, half byte loader and you'll have a couple of files there so you have your update hen d or well, those what are what you should have so you should go to hen and your PSP will soon restart into um, ha um, what's it called? homebrew enabler and to make sure that is actually what happened you want to go to system settings and you want to go to system information and you'll say version 6.20 TNB now for those who are on the PSP go or um, for on the PSP go on the PSP 3000 where custom firmware is not there yet um, there will be another tutorial in the um, when I'm completed it below in the post or on the description if you're on YouTube to actually enable Prometheus um, ISO loader and for those who are on PSP 1000 or 2000, I'm going to make a tutorial on how to actually install um, custom firmware using this um, firmware enabler. So yeah, latest for now.